had uh, went for checkup, annual checkup, which included a digital rectal exam. We found some nodules and some hardness on the outside of the prostate. And uh, that's how it all started. I took my wife with me uh, and also I took a tape recorder because once you're diagnosed and told that you've got prostate cancer, it's like being hit over the head with a two by four. And so the guy was rattling on about A, B, C, D cancers and I thought, what the hell is this guy talking about? So it wasn't until I got home and then played the tape recording back again half a dozen times, I got some semblance of what it was that I, I was faced with. The operation took 12 hours. Uh, they removed two segments of my spine, a T10 and T11, and then replaced it with donated bone, put two metal plates in my back between lumbars T9 and T12, held together under compression by titanium nuts and bolts. I was walking in three days and I have no back pain. I'm doing so well now that my oncologist only wants to see me every six months. I still have my so, uh, Zolidex injection every three months though, PSA every six months as well. I just had one last week and on checking the result, uh, this is my 19th PSA reading since April of 2005. All is undetectable. The care, loving care of my wife has helped me through this immensely. She has been there from the word, right from the word go to my first appointment with the uh, urologist. One of the problems with um, with being on hormone treatment is the fact there's two very big side effects. One, of course, is erectile dysfunction and the other one is uh, incontinence. When you're on hormone treatment as much as I have been, there's no libido and so sexual activity is, is not there. But you can substitute that with hugs and this, that and the other. And before I was even diagnosed with cancer, when I had intercourse with Margaret and ejaculated, I had a pain in my groin area, okay? I, but I never said anything to Margaret, I never said anything to my GP. But if I had it done, that's prostatitis, which is present when prostate cancer is there. So I could have saved myself a lot of heartache and grief here if I'd have listened to a body signal and, uh, and acted on that. It's very disappointing, really, that guys do not want to know more about prostate cancer. They could certainly save themselves a lot of trouble and a heartache if they paid more attention to their bodies. Uh, we've been into, uh, with a support group in Newmarket, into shopping malls, dispensing information. Guys walk past the desk, don't want to know. It's only with their wives will drag them back to get the information. And uh, if the guys were on the ball as much as the wives are, they'd be... Uh, far more successful in beating this disease. <laughs>